All right, uh, wait, where'd he go? Jesse, you're up. Uh, I've never jumped out of an airplane before, um, <laughs> but I do have a slight understanding of how parachutes work. Now, the quote I have uh, to speak about today is, um, you can the other side of here. <laughs> the mind is like a parachute. It doesn't work unless it's open. Now, I'd like to talk about this in three separate categories. Um, understanding is in the understanding of the parachute itself, um, actively learning, and learning about this specifically, and then applying. Understanding, uh, now I know that a parachute you know, catches you when you fall off the, or uh, catches the air, but you know, it, it doesn't work unless it's open, and that's true. Um, but does it do anything on the ground? No, it doesn't. If I were to open a parachute on the ground, it would probably just plop out and sit there. Having your mind open isn't going to do anything for you if you're not in a turbulent situation. You don't put yourself in places where you have to make decisions or you have to agree and open your mind to these ideas. Now, actively learning, I personally have been reading a lot of books recently. This is, this is new to me. I've been reading a book every week. Um, and I've learned a lot. Most of them are self-help books. Uh, this issue was brought up in a book I read, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. Um, saying yes to most anything um, that you know, agrees with your morals is, is a great situation. It gets you to be successful. It makes you that person. It gives you the opportunities. You make those opportunities by saying yes to certain things and opening your mind. Now, that doesn't mean you would say yes to everything. Not having that opportunity or the open mind to everything, you need to have your morals set and say no to the things that don't agree with your morals. Now, actively applying this, um, Take the learning that we've done, like I've taken from reading, and apply it, and really do it, as opposed to just telling people, I'm going to say yes more. I'm going to do what I can to be first. I'm going to put myself in situations and have an open mind. I'm purposely going and putting myself in situations where I can get things done and move on. Accomplishing goals is something that people with open minds have. I do. So, I want to thank you, now that we all know how to uh, understand how your mind is like a parachute, how you can actively learn uh, to apply these things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why, you know, I, I, don't, I don't mean to be annoying to people, but there's no reason for the next speaker to rush in while we're still dealing with the last speaker, so we'll send somebody out for you. If you want to sit here and listen, it's okay, but I mean, it's like this has happened the three times that we've been doing this, and it's like everybody keeps coming in, and I don't know why, <laughs> you know? You think we're going to forget that you're out there? <laughs>
Yeah. All right. Don't worry, I'm staying up. Yeah. All right. Um, Jesse, the attention device, I think, is a little too spot on. You're so literal with the idea of the parachute thing that I think it doesn't really help you very much. Uh, although, when you get to the point that you're talking about, I understand why you got there. And um, it, it's okay. It's not bad. It's just it's not as creative or interesting as it might be. Uh, we know what your topic is. Your thesis is a little vague. You don't really say, I mean, I, I think the point that you're saying is you agree with the idea, but you don't really say that to us. You just, you launch immediately into a preview of what the supporting material is going to be. That preview, your three supporting points, they all sounded so abstract, I had no idea exactly what it was you were going to be saying on those individual points. It did sound like you had some distinguishing characteristics, but they sound really vague. And I think when, as you get into it, you'll see that it sounds the same way. It, it, it's not exactly repetitive each time, but it does seem like you're hitting on the same theme, you're going in the same direction, and I'm just, I'm just looking for something that's particular, interesting, something that you can hold on to and talk about, and it always remains this kind of vague, abstract idea instead of getting to be something particular. Like you talk about saying yes to stuff, like, well, give me an example of something that you said yes to that would be an illustration of having an open mind, and tell us how, it, uh, how well it went, and you know, what you learned from it, and why it was a good experience for you to do that kind of thing. Instead, it just kind of remains this vague objective that you have instead of something that's tangible and interesting like a, like a conversation you're having with somebody. You, I, you don't want to come across like you're some philosopher lecturing to people. You want to talk like you're a human being having a conversation with people and said, here's something that I learned that happened to me that's interesting and I think you'd find it interesting too if I shared it with you and, and I think that that'll work a little bit better. Um, on the delivery issues, your voice projects well. Uh, there's pretty good variety in your voice. Your face is always pretty expressive. You, you, you smile, you're engaged, that kind of thing. You do have a tendency to look in one direction repeatedly whenever you are uncertain, and that's this corner over here. So when you watch your video, I think you'll notice that you, you know, that's kind of like your default comfort zone over there. It's not that you're exactly looking away, but it does feel like you're kind of thinking a little bit about the next thing that you're going to say and that's kind of your default uh, space that you go to. Um, there are some pretty good hand gestures while you're speaking until you get to the last third of the speech when you get uh, stuck and suddenly your hands go in your pockets and you just aren't quite sure where to go with the next thing that you're talking about and that's a little bit problematic. Um, the uh, body movement is, is usually pretty solid. Like I said, your gestures are, are expansive for the most part. Pacing of your voice is the thing that you're going to notice the most when you, with your speech. You start off like you're on a pretty regular basis, and then when you get stuck, it's obvious that you are stuck. It's, there are these long pauses, and even when you start talking again, the words are coming out slowly to give you a little bit of time to catch up with what you're saying. And so it just doesn't sound like your regular presentation. It doesn't sound like you're speaking in a very regular manner there. And I think that that's a little bit problematic. All right, thank you. All right, Andrew, we're going to give you some topics. Uh, did you have those? No. Okay. There you go.